Hi, in this video, I want to do a Hetzna robot tutorial. Hetzna robot is where you can order and manage your dedicated servers. So Hetzna robot is all about dedicated servers on Hetzna. To create your account, just go to the front end, that is hetzna.com, and then create your account. If you come here under login, you can click on robots. If you already have an account, you can log in. If you don't, click on register. Enter your details and then the next step is about entering your personal details such as your name and physical address. And once you do that, you may get an email from Hetzner asking that they require a proof of identity. And you can do that using a billing item like a water bill, electric bill. As long as it has your name and your physical address, then that will work. So just send that to them and your account will be activated and then you can start ordering servers, any type of servers. Just first step, of course, create your account and come into robot. So once you log into robot, there is your welcome and you'll see the top offers for servers that you can buy. If you want to buy any servers, I would suggest that you go here under ordering to see all the different types of dedicated servers that are available on Hetzner. You can look at the different types of servers. Down here, you'll see all these different types of servers that you can buy from Hetzner. You have server auctions. If there are any auctions on servers, they will be listed here. You can also see if there are any listed on the front end of Hetzner. And then dedicated root servers. These are AMD servers. You can just look at the different servers. You also have the root servers. These are Intel servers. And then these are Xeon, Xeon, Xeon servers. You can choose whichever one you want there. And then here there is Ryzen 5, Ryzen 7, and Intel Xeon. Dell, these are Dell, Xeon, Dell AMD, and Dell, Intel Xeon. And then co-location, if you need to rent server rack space, you can also rent the server rack space. And then you'll put your servers in there. Storage boxes, these are for storage. If you want to add storage, you want to use the Hetzner disk for storage, you can order one. You can see they're very affordable. Just order one and experiment with it to see what functionality it offers. And then domain administration, you can also register domain. And once you register a domain, you can add DNS records. So if you click there on DNS entry, let's just go back. I want to open that in a new tab. You can add zones here for your DNS. So if you have a domain, add the DNS zone and then you'll add the DNS records. Or you can just use Cloudflare if you don't want to use Hetzner DNS. So once you buy your server, you'll find the options to manage your server in, in there. Just click on server. And then all the servers that you have will be listed here. So let's say that you want to manage this specific server. If you want to log into the server, you'll just take the IP address for your server and then you can log in using SSH. So if you do SSH, SSH, and the user by default will be root. So it will be root at your IP. So enter your IP address there and then you'll be asked for the password. So you'll be asked for your password. So this is how you can log into your server. Just do SSH, the user root and your IP address. And you can manage your server just like you would normally manage any VPS server. If you want to do anything like server transfers, you can always click there and you can transfer. You can transfer a server between Hetzna clients. So if you want to do any of these services, you have to go into the server. So if I go inside of this server, you'll see that all the options we need are here. So if you want to cancel, you can just click there on cancellation. You can give a reason and then click on cancel. And most importantly, if you make an error during the initial setup and you want to reset the server, you want to reinstall the operating system, you can do that. You can just come in here under Linux. And let's say maybe you want to reinstall Ubuntu minimal version, you can do that. Just click on activate Linux installation. 
and once you do that i'm not going to do that but click on choose the operating system and then choose that and then click on activate linux activation and then the next thing come in here under reset and you can see the server is running that's why i don't want to do anything with it and then click on the first one right now the server is running so if you click on the first one and then you click send it's going to turn off the server and then once it is turned off the next thing would be you come back again and then you click on that to turn it on and that is going to initiate the linux installation so just give it time to install and then you're going to get a brand new installation of linux and whenever you do that you will be given a password to access your root user so if you maybe selected ubuntu 22 and then you go to the next step you're going to you're going to get your server password so make sure you copy it and you save it somewhere and then vnc right now you can't access vnc you can enable vnc if you want to install vnc you can enable vnc on your server and then access it but if you have ssh access then you don't really need vnc and then if you want to install windows just like with linux come in here and choose the windows that you want to install or reinstall and you can install it on your server if you want to add plesk cpanel all these others come in here and choose them and you can see the pricing will increase monthly and then plesk all these other options backup if you want to backup the server you can come in here and you can choose a storage box you can see some of these are not free okay so if you back up up to 100 GB, it is free. If you increase it to one terabyte, it will be 290 a month with the box storage from Hetzner. You can set up that monitoring. You can look at your server. You can activate monitoring if you want to activate monitoring for your server. So just come in here or you can read more on the Hetna documentation to learn more about any of these other things. Add-ons, if you want to add Hetna add-ons. Now you can set a phone password so that whenever you need to do anything and whenever you need to do anything, you can always contact the support and if they ask you for the phone password, it will be what you have set here. So just set up a phone password before you contact support. And then you remember we looked at transfer. You can transfer a server and you see that the server has not been owned for a very long time. And therefore, I can't transfer it. But if it was eligible for transfer, I would see the option here. I would generate a token and the token would be sent to the other party. And then they would activate it on their account. And that would initiate a transfer of the server. So you can transfer from one account to another. Maybe you've set up the server for somebody else and now you need to send it to them. You can use that. You can use this option to transfer the server. And then if you need support, you can always come in here, contact Hetzna support, any issue that you have, come in here and seek support. Cancellation, have we looked at this? Yeah, if you want to cancel the server, you can always cancel it. History, you can look at the history of the server. What changed? Did you reset anything? So on and so forth. Just look at the history of your server. And you can search any status and you'll see all the things that happened on the server. And then firewall, if you want to set up a firewall for the server, you can add different rules for your server here. So that's pretty much an overview of the Hetzner robot. So one thing that you may want to do, sometimes you want to rescue the system. So you can put the system in rescue mode and once you click on activate rescue maybe you want to install an operating system once you click on activate rescue it will enable the system to be in rescue mode the next time you reboot it so what you'll come here and do is you will turn the you'll turn the server off just like i told you click there on the first one click on send that's going to turn the server off and then click on it again to turn the server on so what i mean is if i click there i can click on send so that's going to that's going to re that's going to turn off the server 
and if I refresh the page and I go back into the server and I go into reset, you can see the server is now turned off. If I want to turn it back on, I will just click there and click on send and the server will be turned back on. Now, the second time that you turn it on, you can log in via SSH. And when you go to log in via SSH, you'll see that you're now in rescue mode and you can use you can use one of the Hetzner images to install a new operating system. There's a way to do that on Hetzner. Just look at the documentation to see how you can install an operating system from one of the Hetzner images. There are tutorials you can find for that. So that's pretty much it, an overview for how to use the Hetzner robot, Hetzner dashboard. So if you're thinking about getting a server on Hetzner, now you know what the dashboard looks like. And just know that once you get the server, it will be pretty much like managing a server remotely except for the server itself and the interface for managing the server. It is not the same as the one for cloud. If you go into cloud, you'll see that the interface is different. So here on cloud, if you want to, uh, if you want to deploy a server, you need to create a project. So you create a project and then go inside of that project and then deploy a server. And I do have a video for doing that. So if that's something you want to watch, you can find that video. So let's look at traffic statistics. You can look at this traffic stats here. So just feel free to look at all these other options and learn more on the Hetzner robot documentation. You can find that on the Hetzner website. All right. I hope this video has given you a clear understanding of how the Hetzner robot dashboard works and how you can use it to get a server and manage your server. If you have any questions, Leave them in the description below.